Hello everyone, can you hear me? Yes, super, thanks for being here. Very nice to welcome you all. Uh, delighted to launch the partnership. I'm here to explain to you what is Scotian Ventures and give you a sense of if you end up applying, if you end up being part of our cohort of investments, uh, get, give you a bit of a sense of why we're doing Ocean Ventures and also how it works and what our model is. I mean, basically, uh, this comes out of a big campaign we've done around Ocean uh, issue, which was led by uh, Jeremy and also by Sky News uh, over two years, raising the uh, sort of state of, uh, of the plastic disaster in the ocean. Very quickly moved into uh, putting sustainability at the core of, of the business, really, by making a strong commitment that uh, the Sky Ocean Rescue Team took on uh, business transformation, for example. Uh, the company will hopefully be single-use plastic-free by 2020, um, but also by uh, uh, continuing to make this issue relevant to uh, consumers. And if uh, we look at what we're trying to create is really leveraging the fact that we are a media company and with it, creating a model that uh, has a synergy between um, the voice, the reach that Jamie described, the channels, the platforms, the networks, both in the markets where we have a footprint, and the notion of uh, finding a solution, uh, innovative solutions uh, to uh, tackle this uh, sustainable issue. And that, that's really what impact is about. Impact is about trying to not just invest in um, businesses that can flourish, that can be commercially viable, but we're also looking for ideas uh, that can really answer um, uh, the big questions. And for us, it comes from uh, an alignment with what the ecosystem is about today. If you look at, you know, from a policy side, from a consumer campaign side, uh, uh, all the debates around the NGOs, it all leads to opportunities for new solutions. And there are very few tools available. And I think this partnership with, uh, with Innovate UK is very, um, uh, very special because you, you basically have for the first time a government body and uh, a leading sort of FTSE uh, corporation um, actively seeking to support early stage uh, ideas and uh, creating concretely uh, not just an accelerator program, but also um, uh, a program which allows us to put the machine of Sky at, at the disposal of those businesses. Um, and the model is very simple, and I'm going to get Jamie to, to join to discuss the sort of uh, details of the way we do investment. But the model we have is very simple, is that not, it's not just about fostering that ecosystem, it's also about taking those businesses with us, making them part of our ecosystem that we have here. Uh, we've even launched something called Innovators in Residence, where if you are a business we're investing in, you're able to uh, be supported, to work with, uh, across the business, i.e. help with your business strategy, help with your product, help with your marketing. And that's really what the ecosystem uh, that we want to create is about, is an integration between the business apparatus and those ideas, and hopefully trying to amplify those by making them uh, viable from a product point of view, helping them go into the market by uh, connecting um, uh, those projects with retailers, with commercial partners, and then after amplify the solutions by bringing visibility. And I think that's the point that everyone has identified now, and, and it's common to other venture areas, is that if you want those early stage ideas to flourish, you need to give them an ability to have a platform and have a, have a visibility, being able to market themselves. And I think that's, that's been lacking in this area, uh, let's say the ocean agenda so far, and I think that's why we're trying to repair that by bringing very much the voice of Sky to, uh, to those businesses. So hopefully, uh, you'll be able to apply and, and, and get a chance to be, um, to be on those platforms. So I'm going to leave... Um, Jamie, to sort of describe the ecosystem we built, which is the idea was very much to build an incredible ecosystem that those businesses can flourish in and uh, actively be supported by. And then also give you after um, a bit of an insight in terms of how we approach each investment stages in Sky Ocean Venture. We're going to go about it. Jamie, who's head of investment. <laughs> Hi everyone, uh, it's great to see everyone actually recognise quite a few people in the room which is fantastic.
having had conversations with people is we've started to build the fund over the last sort of six to nine months really um, and it's exciting kind of to start 2019 with this partnership and some other things going on um, to really accelerate our investment process uh, and to hopefully fund some new great companies. Um, Fred's talked about it, Jeremy's talked about it in terms of what we're trying to build as a model um, and, and Innovate UK has been, and working with Neil has been great to kind of set the agenda for a partner, a credible partner in the academic community here in the UK. And that's what we're trying to do. We appreciate we are not a chemicals company, we're not a plastics company at the core. We want to partner with credible scientists in this space um, to filter the right ideas and the right solutions and therefore using Innovate's platform has been fantastic. So we've done that. We have a partnership with Imperial College who have been a fantastic uh, group for us to work with. They have a dedicated pool of scientists who are focusing on ocean plastics as, a, as an issue. Um, we have this National Geographic program coming up, which we'll, we'll sort of, you'll see some news about separately. Um, and then, you know, we have an advisory board. This is all on our website, by the way, so you should, should take a look. But, you know, our advisory board all come from this ocean agenda, um, all making their networks available to all of our entrepreneurs so far. Um, and, uh, you know, we've been really trying to utilize them and their networks to help, again, bring these ideas to, to, to a, a much higher readiness. Um, we're working with coalitions, co-investors, platforms as we start to build this as an investment space. Frankly, we appreciate this as a niche investment fund for some people. Um, and what we want to do is fund the most credible solutions that ultimately other investors and other pools of capital can recognize that this is an opportunity. So that's a big part of what I spend my time doing is working with companies that we've invested in um, to start to help them with fundraising and, and that kind of strategy. Um, what we're looking for in terms of investment areas and kind of our, our filtering, I guess our criteria, and this is very much aligned with, with Innovate's progress, um, pro, sorry, program, um, is about the focus areas really are material innovation, responsible consumption, and the circular economy principles as applied to plastics as the value chain. And we've seen a range of stuff over the last six to nine months. I think, you know, we've spoken with over 200 companies in and around Europe. Um, that, that are doing a range of different things across that, across that value chain. And, and we're building a portfolio approach to this because we appreciate that this is a system level change required. So we're not just going to be funding new science in the material space, we wanna fund end of life, we wanna fund technology that can be brought into the home and enterprise level that can help people make more responsible decisions about how they use materials. And as Fred has mentioned, and I think as the team has mentioned, a core of what we're doing and a big component of our, I guess, our filter on how we look at companies is the team and is how they have an impact focus and are impact driven, i.e. you'll hear Pierre's story. Um, that's what has charmed us since day one about the guys in terms of how they want to create a radical new solution that is entirely sustainable and is a completely new approach. And that's at the core of what they do as a business. So I can't stress that enough as how, that's how we think about that. And as we sort of saw on the slide about impact investment, we think that makes sense and is an investment opportunity because these companies offer something different that consumers want and hopefully that will make them successful. But by having that at the core of their mission, that, that's what really, really drives their success. And, and I think you'll see that across most, uh, most industries nowadays about how consumers make decisions in their, in their purchasing. We report against, um, in terms of our impact objectives, UN SDGs uh, 12 and 14. Um, those are very much aligned with the, the plastics environmental issue. So again, that's how we think about the companies. And when we make an investment, we work with those companies to ultimately think about how we can track and sort of explain what their impact can be. We appreciate these are early companies and they're not at full adoption to the market yet, but we want to ultimately in five, 10 years time, be able to look at the portfolio and say it had impacts across X, Y, Z um, and it has made a meaningful difference um, to this as a problem set. In terms of how we specifically invest the fund, um, the, the program today uh, that we're launching, the accelerator program is very much a kind of aligned with our pre-seed bucket. So this is companies uh, or, or, or ideas that are, that are in their project size of maybe up to a couple of hundred thousand pounds um, where it's really about a proof of concept, um, turning something from an idea with a, with a beta or a, an MVP or something pr pretty simple that they want to get to a commercial readiness, but you know, don't want to take a huge amount of risk and we can fund that in various different structures. You know, in, in, in traditional venture capital terms, that's 
convertible loans and safe notes. So we, we can do a variety of, of ways of funding that. So it, it's, it doesn't feel like too much of an obligation, um, but we do, we do ultimately fund into equity investments into companies. Um, we have a traditional bucket, which is the seed program. And, and I should mention, we, we're not officially, today's program is about the accelerator, but there is a second part of our partnership with Innovate, which is on our website. Um, there's the 2 million accelerator. There's actually another 4 million bucket of grant and investment, um, which is being run by Sky Ocean Ventures as a fund, and it's, it's invitation only to companies that we choose to make an equity investment into. We will then work with them to uh, submit a grant application um, into Innovate UK, um, who will go through the same process, their same assessment process, which I'm sure people are familiar with. Um, but that, that's a sort of second bucket, and that's where our seed and our Series A investments um, can fit. And those are typically larger project sizes, half a million of investment. Um, the project sizes under that bucket can up, be up to 600K, actually. Um, and then we do do Series A investments as well. So we have a 20, 25 million pound fund in total. Um, and if you get to that stage and the companies are ready and kind of have evidence of uh, a consumer base and are looking for scaling uh, investment, that, that's our bucket there. Um, we want to be a supportive partner as well too. We reserve money in the portfolio, so we're not just funding once. We hope that you will grow as a business and that we can support you with future fundraising rounds. You may not need more money. You may be able to scale without capital, uh, you know, follow on capital, but, but we do do that as a policy. Um, and then a, a, a big part of, of um, I guess, what we can add in addition to just equity investment um, is, uh, sorry, the slides have gone a bit funny, but the, the um, is really just using the resources of Sky, frankly. You know, we have 31,000 employees across Europe. Um, and I've been amazed. I'm quite new to Sky. I only joined last year, but I've been amazed at the volunteers that, that have come from parts of the business and, and have seen the Ocean Rescue campaign. You can see how it's embedded into our program here. And they have, you know, we get people saying, how can I help with companies that you're investing in? So that can be anything from product design, from industrial product design, Again, we're not a chemicals company, so that's why we partner with Innovate UK and other you know, academic scientists networks. But really on product, marketing, what Sky is good at as a business, communications, that's what we can offer. Um, and we've already done that with our investments, put people into their teams to help them or run projects with branding groups um, to really to kind of, to, to help accelerate. That, that's, that's part of the model. And obviously fundraising, as I said, working with you on fundraising strategy going forward, helping you introduce you to other investors. Um, and that's a big part of the program. And what Neil and I talk about often is how we leverage this to get more money into this as a problem set. Um, I think that's about it. I'm, I'm, we're around today. Please come and say hi. Um, for those of you who I know, we'll, we'll definitely grab time. And, you know, it's really, please directly to me um, and, and the team and Fred and Vanessa and just introduce yourself and what you're doing. We want to have as many conversations as possible. We want to sp spread our net as wide as possible in terms of what we um, and it's very open dialogue. Um, you know, we can give you any, any more detail about the investment process. It's relatively flexible. You know, we work with you on just basically understanding your business and what you're trying to achieve. The, the, the Innovate UK application, which will be taken through in more detail now, is, is, is much more specific. But in terms of how we kind of invest on top of that, is, is really a, a kind of a personal relationship and trying to understand, as I said, your focus, your impact and your objectives. Um, so thank you all for coming and um, yeah, please, please grab me. <laughs>